here for WVLT News at 4. I'm Ted Hall. Brittany's at home being a mom again. She'll be there for a while. Mayor Andy Kincannon is proposing a raise in your property taxes to help pay for city projects and help pay for employees as well. Here in Austin, joining us here, he's in our newsroom right now. Jared, the mayor's confident she can get this passed by city council before August. Let's talk about the property tax hike. How much is she asking for here? Well, the mayor really wants to raise your property tax break by 50 cents per $100 assessed. And the point she really wants to drive home is offering better pay for city employees to help keep them here and fill several open positions. This means putting a minimum wage at $15 an hour for city employees. Knoxville currently has around 140 job openings with 100 being for police and public service positions. Mayor Kincannon says she believes the problem is city employees are paid 10% below the market. They got this information from a study from an outside expert. The mayor says a large majority of the extra property tax money will go toward providing a higher minimum wage. With this budget, I think we'll be able to sustain high quality services that our community expects. Some of the services the mayor wants to improve include parks, roads and stormwater systems. She says some of the goals with this new budget is to fix up the greenways, fixing potholes, and fixing that stormwater system so some roads stop flooding so easily. And Ted, remember, this is all proposed right now. This will have to be voted on and approved by City Council before the fiscal year starts in July. All right, Jared, what does the mayor want to do to provide better housing? Because that has become a major issue here. Yeah, she's asking for more money to help provide for this. Her proposed $50 million over 10 years could help bring 2,100 affordable homes to the city. All right, Jared, thank you very much. Are we